Christ, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, I welcome you to this prophetic talk. This is Pastor Oshin Amandishe, and I'm going to uh, show you something that is very important today. I just want you to check the clips that I'm going to put. We are going to talk about something that is very deep uh, concerning the spirituality of our nation. He was con convinced that he had found the fabled Ngoma Lungundu, the Ark of the Covenant. His discovery made world headlines. Several documentary films were produced by the BBC and the Discovery Channel, and Parfit published a book about his find. It was followed by an exhibition of the Ngoma in Harare. Uh, important uh, political figures start playing a role, um, including the president of, uh, of a state. It has become an object of massive importance uh, within Zimbabwe. Uh, for good reasons and for bad. The Ngoma Parfit discovered in the museum in Harare has unfortunately become a complex issue with many claims to it. It's venerated by too many people, different people, and everybody wants it for themselves. So the Lemba want it and the Vendor want it and various other tribes um, within the, the context of, uh, of uh, Zimbabwe want it for themselves and the government wants it for itself and Mugabe wants it for himself. The museum wants it and so on. So it's, um, it's, all very, uh, it's, it's all very complicated and... The setback was that the newly found Ngoma vanished again. Certainly on the street, the word has it that uh, Mr. Mugabe is keeping the object, the Ark, the Ngoma, in his country property. Um, and he's a very su superstitious man. Uh, he's using it um, to keep himself in power, to keep himself alive, that's what people say. And it was first taken away from the uh, museum by uh, soldiers, uh, armed soldiers, who came there at three o'clock in the morning. And since then, nobody has uh, seen it as far as I'm aware. So the object Parfit found was indeed very old. Those who were following my messages, you realize that I talked about it. The spirituality of Zimbabwe, and I talked about it. the Great Zimbabwe and other uh, related messages. For those who were following, some were saying we are trying to craft a story out of um, out of no story. I talked about the Lemba people, the Black Jews in our nation, in Zimbabwe. So I want you to listen about it. this uh, covenant, the Ark of the Covenant, which they called. Ngoma Lungundu, which they carried and brought here in the southern Africa, especially in Zimbabwe. There is something that is there on internet, on records, and this is something that is believed to be a replica, if not that which is referred as the Ark of the Covenant. There were two, the one that we see with the like a triangle with cherubims, cherubims and so forth, and the one that was like a, just a drum uh, with the picture that you are you are seeing on your screen there this is one uh the act that was carried with these people the black jews and the reason why i'm speaking like this is i want you to know and to understand the spiritual implications that it can happen when people um don't realize what it was representing it ended up uh, being in the museum, the part of that act of the covenant, you can see it, you can search on the internet, it is known. Then eventually it is believed that it was taken by the former uh, uh, president who was there. This is a research that was done, it's not a hearsay, it's not a fake story, that's why I'm putting this uh, research the story. So let us listen. None, none of the theories panned out. Tudor decided to follow the advice of a mentor who told him that in the quest for the Ark, he should follow the priests because they were always the custodians of the Ark. And DNA analysis had placed Israelite priests associated with an Ark-like object first in Yemen and then later the same group surfaced in Southern Africa. As time went by, Parfit became more and more convinced that the lost ark could possibly be somewhere in southern Africa.
British historian Tudor Parfitt has had a career-long fascination with the black Jews of Southern Africa and their claims to have brought an ark-like object with them into Africa centuries ago. He had examined textual, archaeological and medical evidence and was sure that their oral tradition about their association with the ark was not that far-fetched. But Parfitt wouldn't give up. He again scrutinized his sources and recalled a book by Harold von Sickard, the missionary who, in the 1940s, studied the Lemba intensely. In his book, he claimed to have found the Ngoma in a cave in the Salkansberg Mountains. He had found the Ngoma um, by following uh, oral traditions. He managed to follow it back to a particular cave in the Limpopo Valley, but at Apparently there was a, a skeleton lying next to the Nagolma and local traditions seemed to support the idea that this was a priest that had died. Extraordinary group stands out. They're called the Lemba or the Black Jews. They trace their origins back not to ancestors on this continent but rather to a people who lived in the land of Israel thousands of years ago. But what makes them even more remarkable is their assertion that when they came into Africa, they also brought with them possibly the most sought-after object in human history, the fabled Ark of the Covenant, the Ark that stood in the temple in Jerusalem and which vanished without a trace two and a half millennia ago. If you touch it, you die instantly. Nobody but the priest was allowed to touch it. If they did, they were dead. Perhaps they have the Ark of the Covenant. It belongs to us. ...of Israel, and we are very happy to have him back in the studio. Hello, and good to see you. Wonderful to be back. So we just had a very interesting uh, interview uh, before the commercial break with an anthropologist and a community leader of the Lemba community in Zimbabwe. You talk a lot about, about this, you do a lot of coursework. So what do you have to say first about, about the Lemba and what makes them unique as opposed to some of the other groups that are considered lost tribes? Correct. Uh, Lemba are fascinatingly unique because we could trace them directly to the oldest Jewish exile community in the world from from Yemen. And the, Yem the Yemenite Jewish community, when they came back to Israel, they had customs that were preserved for 2,000 years uninterrupted. Even some of their pronunciation of Hebrew letters were unique as far as how the Ashkenazim and Sephardim pronounced their letters, but no one challenged them saying it's unauthentic. It was as authentic it can get. Mm -hmm. And so when you see the Lemba all the way down to the bottom of Africa, direct, you know, tracing their roots uh, to the Yemenite Jewish community, building in the same structures and having certain uh, you know, traditions that are the same, and no, like no one else in South Africa, it shows you the far-reaching scale of these Israelite uh, customs and traditions. And not to mention, obviously, we speak about the genetic Kohen phenomenon amongst the Lemba people, that uh, a large percentage of them have a genetic marker to be from the Kohanim, from the priests of Israel. You have listened to these clips, and uh, I just gave you the bits of this message. So that when I come next, I want to talk about the deep things, spiritual things. And uh, if our nation, if our leaders listen, they must understand that this nation carries a spiritual foundation that needs to be corrected. I have been singing, I've been blowing this trumpet for those who are following my message about this. And if they ask, those who are hearing from God, they will tell the nation, what should be done if we want to redeem the mistakes and the things that were done upon this nation? You are going to understand after we move together with this story of the Ark of the Covenant, uh, how it uh, was lost and how it ended in the wrong hands. As much as we know that uh, we move to the transition of the Old Testament, but remember, God always stand with what he promised is the covenant and for those who were following my messages i'm sure you are getting what i'm saying and i'm going to put in the comment section uh, some of the links these are researched information that you can also find read for yourself and also listen god will bless our nation if we follow what god is saying to our nation god bless you